Hey, Olivia, right? It's been a long time. You don't remember me, do you? Yeah, unfortunately, I do. Yeah, well, I never got the chance to explain to you why I botched that job you hired me. I don't know the, what job you're talking about. The girl, you know, tall, thin, really good looking. You know? That girl is my daughter. Well, in that case, you owe me a Christmas bonus. Is this something you wanted? A job. Legitimate this time. In your hotel. No. Well, you treat all future employees this way? You're not a future employee, you're a felon. You hide my brother. Come on. Maybe my skills will come in handy. You got a hotel guest that won't pay his bills? I'm your man. <laughs> you seriously want a job in a hotel that's gonna pay you minimum wage and make you scrub toilets? Better than prison, isn't it? Hey. And don't don't be mad. All right, and I know that you have you have every right to be, and it's fine. But I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> stuff so much stuff yeah. hat lots of hats yeah have you um tried calling him again yeah i tried left a message again i don't know if he even gets them i don't know how else to communicate with him no? gus is looking out after him i hate not knowing what if i told you that i know and i know that everything is going to be all right I'm trying to believe that. <laughs> and also, very soon, he is going to be back home where he belongs, safe with you. I'm just not as sure as you are. Well, I haven't always been that sure. Just recently at the Grady Foley trial, I had my doubts. I began to wonder if I wasn't fooling myself, believing all this. And then Gus came through for me. And he's going to come through for you, too, Natalia. Hey, isn't it discrimination if you don't at least let me fill out an application? Discrimination? Are you serious? You killed Tammy Winslow. Well, you never needed a second chance? The answer's no. I'm not going to change my mind. Well, so you're saying you're perfect. You've never done anything wrong in your life. You never say hired someone to kill your own daughter. Don't you ever mention my daughter again. Look. I'm not screwing around here. I want a job. I really need it. I need a chance. You could work 40 years in this town before anyone would give you a chance. Maybe. But if you hired me, maybe people would think I'm not so bad. But didn't you get a new heart? Yeah, Daisy told me about it. How you're almost dead and then you got a stepdad's heart. A lot of people say you don't deserve it. Maybe you did. Maybe you didn't. I'm not going to judge you, if you don't judge me. Even if I did decide to give you a chance, you killed Cassie's daughter, it's her hotel too, I think the answer would be no. And I know a lot about making mistakes, I can tell you this much, it's going to take more than a new job to get people to forgive you. So, so when did you get here? Are you, does anyone else know you're here? Did that, did my mom come back with you? Oh, no, I couldn't even tell Holly I was leaving. I slacked out. She would have never let me come back here. Is she okay? Oh yeah, she's fine. And she treated me great, so. Were you scared? It wasn't so bad. I missed you, I was so worried and Frank and I we went to Greece and when I didn't find you 
<laughs> come here. Alex, give me a hug. I had a lot of dreams about you, actually, while you were gone. We were, um, we were in a, a juvie and we were talking through the, uh, vent. No, you didn't. Yeah. You did? <laughs> Days, um, I'm, I'm sorry I shut you out. Oh, I no, mean, you had no choice. I mean, no, you couldn't go to jail. No, I don't mean, from before, when my dad passed away, I shouldn't have acted like that. No. You know what? No, it it wasn't your fault. <sighs> Look, if I had let you in, then maybe things would have gone differently. <laughs> I missed you so much. Um, like I uh, we, I picked this up in one of the little towns we were staying in. I seriously love it. It's beautiful. Yeah, it must not as beautiful as you. Look, this is the first drawing that Rafe ever made me. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow, what is that? Um, some kind of animal or an alien of some sort? <laughs> it's me. You? Yeah. Well, remind me never to encourage him to go into art. <laughs> I love how you're talking about him like he's going to be back tomorrow and everything's going to be normal. Well, it's true. I know that, and I think deep down you know it, too. Let me ask you something. Are, are you hungry? Uh, maybe too busy right now. I mean, I'd understand. Oh, busy? Busy? No, I sit in this apartment all day. I haven't slept in weeks. And all I do is clean and reorganize the closets and the shelves and the drawers. So, no, I'm not busy. All I have is time. Well, in that case... Josephine sits by the window. Allow me. Well, the Cubs game starts in 10 minutes if I can figure out how to work this thing. Thank you for this, Alan. Let me uh, let you in on a little secret. Uh, these turkey subs were made by my good friend Buzz Cooper. Yeah. You know, we used to do this. Gus and I. This was like our thing. We would sit and listen to the cubbies. It was fun. It's exciting. <laughs> we were happy. I'm sorry. I sound very silly. No, you don't. Silly. I think you're one of the few people that I know that is totally honest with herself. And you're also honest with others as well. I still sleep in one of Gus's Cubs t-shirts. How's that for <laughs> I just wish I could give you more proof that Gus is watching over you and Raphael. Well, then that wouldn't be faith, right? If there were proof. Mm. Mm. Sleepy. Sleepy, huh? Yeah. Well, that's because of tryptophan and the turkey starting to work its magic. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna lay down just for a second. I'm just gonna close my eyes just for one little second. How many more tears can you cry? You should still be here with me. Look after her, son.